Shop Podcast, episode number fill in the blanks. Hit them up on 240. 238, I'm going to say. 200. 242. 242. Where have I been? Oh my God. I have a mic again. Ryan has a mic again. Not just a gooseneck, but a mic on a gooseneck. Nothing better than a nice gooseneck, eh? Oh, yeah. you're not using it. No, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going bareback. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Craziness. I screwed up tonight. I had two two great bands booked in for tonight, and uh, thank goodness the Petit Four are going to come in next week and rock you out on the 27th. Great apologies. He gets crazy sometimes. People. You know, get a hold of me on different formats. And, you know, there's large periods of blackouts that I can't account for. It, it, regardless, it's uh, it's all good. And sometimes it's even better than good, which is what we strive for right here on Barbershop Podcast every week. Live from Boxo Studio, Shadow of the Great Hamilton Mountain, Blast Furnace of Music, which is Hamilton, Ontario. And what is Ontario but a province in the very center of a whole country called Canada. And what is Canada? To those of you who live here, it's still a bit of a mystery. What they taught you in school really isn't cool anymore. Canada is not a melting pot like the States, but a cultural mosaic. And with all cultures come foods, music, fashion, ideal, everything. And sometimes the muddy waters don't reveal the sparkling jewel, but... We all know that there is a heart and there is a soul in this country of Canada. Is it easy to define? Probably not. But we know it when we feel it. We know it when we see it. And I can't think of a more perfect example of what is Canada than tonight's guests. They are the shining example, the gleaming hood ornament on the front of a large luxury Canadian machine. And that machine is music. And that music contains with it the point of the tip of the head, of the spear, of what we're about. You're going to get a big dose of it tonight. That's nothing the doctor can help you with. It is the golden beaver. You know you want it. I do. And you're going to get a dose of it tonight. From left to right, on the cajon, the badass Flapjack. And he is going to show exactly what it is to be Flappy and Jackie. At the same time, next to him, the ever-interesting, the ever-beautiful, and the ever-relevant Justin Beaver. Of course, guitar and vocals, integral part of this Canadian slice of life. And next to him, Chompin' Tom. Chompin' Tom has got a legacy and is a part of what defines the cross-section, the fabric, the milieu of what this country is. And of course, there has to be a base and a foundation. There has to be an interpretation. And that is the log jam. Where's the log jam? Because work is getting Log. done. Logs do not get jammed unless there is work getting done. Done. Log jam. And you know, next to log jam is the sweetest thing in Canada. It's maple syrup. You're going to get a sweet helping of it, and it makes anything even better. Ew! All right, boys. We're going to talk about this country. We're going to talk about music and what you believe and what you feel. Okay, we'll talk about Flapjack. Flapjack, talk about what is the Golden Beaver to you. Golden Beaver is just it's incredible. It's an incredible experience. Um, I was honored to play the first Golden Beaver show i think it was uh out of initiation and uh, again uh, you were prepared I, to be cut loose if you were not good enough you understood that oh technically i'm not even in the band yes yet. you were tolerated <laughs> at this level there's a certain level of acceptance yes. i'm not even there yet yes. i'm on a pro- yes. professional tryout in this case yes. <laughs> it's it's professional pride <laughs> but we've we've understood that the world the world itself <laughs> could come to an end on this saturday night that is basically what we've been looking at. yeah and this the could 23rd be the 23rd of september, september this Incredible. being the 20th the middle of the week there is a planet uh nuru uh it is from another solar system and some say it'll all be lights out on saturday but i don't think the person beside you justin beaver believes that for one second or have you indeed lived your life to have it end this saturday night you know what if it 
ends this Saturday night, Justin Bieber's ready for it. You know what I mean? I've been Word. planning for this moment forever, and if it ends, I'm ready. The only thing I'm going to miss is my good buddy Chomp and Tom. Because if you don't think you're going to go together? Well, you know, we went together when we were working in the maple syrup factory. <laughs> And I pulled up on the big vat, and I saw Chomp and Tom urinating into the maple syrup. And so we both went together, like that. and that's how we're going to go. Planet X, maple double, syrup. Double pissing. Double pissing. The golden beaver. So you can back up that story, Chomping? Definitely, definitely. And you find him musical and tolerable. And, and, he's, and he's a great pisser. And he's a great pisser, yeah, yeah, which yeah. also, as a Canadian, you got to be. Huge. It's you got to be able to piss But good. you know, like... Nothing's going to destroy the whole planet, but nothing will destroy Canada. Yes. We have this There's a bubble bit of a, over us. Right. We'll be drinking beers, yeah. rocking out. Everyone's... Our this, chunk will be floating you got it, with, right. yeah. through space, and it's so true. Log Jam, is it hard holding all this up, or is it easy? It's simple. Um, I'm not actually in the band. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm even well, like going around. <laughs> I'm, I'm a puppet maker, and I'm a puppeteer. And... You see, the puppets I construct, I breathe life into them. The Muppets? And eventually they, in return, breathe life themselves. They take on their own characteristics. I'm a puppet maker. Geppetto. <laughs> <laughs> and after a time, they take on their characteristics. Their characteristics are unique and exquisite. And it's been said before, because of their uniqueness and their exquisiteness, that they say the things that I Due to ethical restraints, would not or could not say. Burden of my puppets. Restraints. It's a lot of fun. And do these remind you of puppets in any way? These gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> All right, maple syrup, sweet and sultry maple, and maple silky. Syrup. I'm just the cleavage relief. <laughs> yeah, but if you you worked hard on them, it's like they having a garden. Me, they tell not to talk too much, at least. <laughs> okay, let's show the goods we got. Let's talk about musicality. We're going to start out with a uh, a song. Tell me about the first song you're going to sing for us tonight. Ah, well, <laughs> we're going to sing a song about camping. Camping, and I think if you anyone's been camping, that's all the introduction you need. And you're going to hear it. And you're going to hear it live in your living room. I mean, these are the best of both worlds. Right here, right now, on BarbershopPodcast.com. Drink some beers, we're gonna dance all night. Ain't going to the discotheque tonight. We're gonna buy them out of fire. We going camping. Oh, we going camping. Ooh, we going camping. Yeah. Ain't nothing about the fire light. Getting down tonight. Everything's all right. Yeah. Fire up the Corbin. It's coffee time. If you want bacon. Track pants on and they're hanging way down on solo. Rather swim in the lake than in your mother's pool. Whoa. I hate mosquitoes, Ooh. but I love fire baked taquitos. Yeah, <laughs> I, I love camping. camping. 
It's intense. We going camping. Whoa. It's good stuff on Barbershop Podcast, the Golden Beaver. Look for them. They have material. And they, have, <laughs> they do. They and have gumption. A, they got gumption and material, which, frankly, in this bitness, you got to have, right? You got to have you got bitness. Uh, so, then like then I'm saying, now we got connections. Yeah, image. exactly. As we slowly kill the mics of the people outside of this circle, tell me, you defined it. You were like, what will grab the interests and love? Of Canada, did you just say what do I like to do? Oh, we just we met over a vat of maple syrup one day. Our eyes met, and we said, "You like to jam? I like to jam. You like beer? You like maple syrup? You like snow? Let's make some music." And if you want you bacon, like don't, be don't be last in line. Don't be last. Don't be, in line. don't be last in line. It's, it's great. The, the the snow, the food, the titties in ha- in, in, in Hamilton. <laughs> it's true, Hamilton, Toronto. Canada, it's a great country. We got, I don't know Gary can get on those stats on the uh, Insta phone there on our <laughs> Facebook account, but we have, you know, viewers Insta from titty. around the world who really, uh, they like what comes out of here. It's a city, like a lot of musical cities, like New York, Seattle, Minneapolis, like where are these places, right? They're places where creative people tend to conglomerate. And Hamilton being really, you know, in the Golden Horseshoe, people come from all over. Down here, it's more affordable to live than Toronto. So you tend to get the people who have, who are willing to live in, you know, they're chasing a different dream. We tend to do get the, I think the, the the key of Canadians in this in this city. We yeah, really yeah, do, yeah. you know, the stuff at the bottom of the grinder. That's so good. You know, somebody somebody <laughs> said to me, we have a yeah, we have a fellow. He's not in the band either, but he plays bass sometimes. And he, uh, <laughs> you know, he had a he had, he, he had a good thing. He said that he always felt like people from Hamilton, they just have the character. You know what I mean? It's the character. Yeah, and that's what's key. You know what I mean? It's true. Yeah. Pe- people need to invest in something, but they don't have a lot of time or patience. That's, that's right. So make it clear and, cl- and clean. That, that was a moment. Highly defined. I love yeah. this band for that very reason. You do videos because it's a way to express to the whole world yeah. what you think and what you feel. So we're going to debut. At least on the worldwide, it's on the world. We're just stealing it from the internet. You could have seen it on your own, but now pass it around because it's on the YouTube. And uh, the first one is a hockey mum. The, the the video, the song is called Hockey Mum, and a hockey mum. Uh, that's kind of almost a universal term because I know they use it in the states. They call it soccer mum. You know, someone whose mm. job uh, the bikers would call them the house mouse. They take care of business and they're really good at it. You know, cooking cleaning, driving, making stuff happen. They, they are someone who would destroy any business they were in. Their business is raising boys who, you know, who love to play hockey. But many of them were also successful in the gym, you know, or they, they, were, they were good athletes in high school and college. And they're, they're, they, they have a desirability factor, like driving along and looking and seeing a beautifully, perfectly kept car on a, on a, on a used car lot that still the chrome is in perfect shape and no one's hit the side of it. Would you say that's a fair description of what a hockey mom is? Yeah, that and yoga pants. <laughs> and the yoga pants, because yeah. it's important, right? Yeah, I mean, it is it's, it's a little yeah. more simple. Yeah. Yoga but pants. The there yoga is a gravitas, so there is a, a weight <clears throat> that there is respect there is, than a hockey mom. I think most of your viewers would agree that the hockey mom is here really is superior to the soccer mom in many ways. Yes. Yeah. She's Canadian. The Earlier, soccer mom the early is rise, perhaps right? the brunt of many jokes. It's the true. hockey mom is not. No, mom, no. hockey she mom gets at 5 or 6.30. That bitch That's don't right. take shit. Sharpens games. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And a whole car full of boys. <laughs> not, just, not just one. Or girls. <laughs> or girls, exactly. And you have to Sorry. be a master of Febreze. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Willing to accept the stink just of saying. a bunch of young boys. That's right. And their hockey young girls. I keep forgetting, Mike. I got friends who are like some amazing in a bag. female hockey players. <laughs> Well, here it is. The Golden Beaver. You get a nice taste of it. Hockey Bum on barbershoppodcast.com. <laughs>
Gordon McKenzie back here live in the studio. We are tied at two after the first period. Nothing has been this tight in the garden since Hockey Mums yoga pants. We're going to go live right now to Ron and Don over at Coach's Corner. Don! Well, I'm telling you, Ron, live tonight here from Maple Leaf Gardens, we got a treat for all of Canada's hockey fans. We got a tribute to the hockey mom. That's right, the finest woman that's ever walked the face of Canada. Turning out the finest hockey players this country's ever seen up in the morning getting the kids to the rink. Well, I'll tell you, that's not how they do it in Russia, uh, Don. Shut up, Ron. The ice might be cold, but the hockey mums are hot. Here tonight, they're a beaut. All right, roll it from here. Now they have to shoot it in. Stop it right there. Look at it. Early morning game, get your bags in the car. Gotta grab some tins before we go too far. Gotta do down low when they'll make up on. Oh, damn, hockey mum, you really turn me on. Cause everything bagels with the herb and garlic. Yelling at the kids. And you weave it through the traffic. Yeah. Into the rink in the nick of time. Hot oh, damn, hockey mum, is sweet as wine. Hockey mum always stays warm in the rink. Like that gym for the real stiff drink. Don't mess with mom. Up in the stands or she choke you up with the hockey mom hands. All the hockey fathers really, really want to meet her. But she's only here for me, so that all we agree for. No matter how we do, she loves our team. If we're 13 and 0, we're over 13. She shoots and she scores. Hockey mom. Hockey mom is screaming, don't get a goal tonight, you won't be eating Till he shoots and he scores and the team has won Don't know that we are the kids of hockey mom Screams we win at the top of a lung Jumping up and down with the hockey mom She looks so hot in the red gold light All the hockey mom screaming, gonna party tonight She shoots and she scores Hockey mom Well we wrote this song for the hockey mom Rub it, rub it off on that animal skin. Don't, don't rub it off on anything over it's here. It's wonderful yeah. shit. Good shit. Oh. The kind of shit we like here at Barbershop Podcast. Okay, we don't pretend to be anything we're not. You know, this is an uh, exploratory um, uh, effort to showcase what can only be described as incredible original material. Right. Some, you know, people like uh, crackers. Try salty crackers that is enjoyable to them they they like the stability and the uh, of the salty cracker other people uh, see the salty cracker and they want something on the salty cracker and then the world opens up because what can't you put on a salty cracker right you can put anything on a salty cracker does that diminish the salty cracker I don't think so isn't that what Canada is all about at the salty end of the cracker? day she just doesn't get it, but what tits? I don't get it either. <laughs> <laughs> no one said salty cracker. <sighs> like salty crackers between my tits, but oh I don't get it. 
good name for Trump. So the salty, salty cracker. cracker. <laughs> oh, I think it would be the first. I don't salty know. Salty orange cracker. It's so good. Actually, Ms. Pegg, she is talented in a... If you ever go see William Pegg, they are a great... I uh, do some. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Or Pegg and Willie. Pegg and Willie. I thought you took over. Ladies before gents. No, yeah, that's how it goes. You're whipped so hard. Moving on. That's the great thing. Golden Beaver. How about maple syrup? Yeah. She's always on top. <laughs> oh! So, she, and voting for us all the It's important with this band to keep that, right? Both of you come uh, from, say, environments. Both of us come uh, what? Regularly together, right? <laughs> but it's important, right, to like you have a sense of fun in the music that you play. But it's Definitely. not dumb, right? So to write stuff that's fun but not dumb... Is that a challenge or is it easy? Oh, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's dumb and easy. There's so much source material. I think it, all it was involved was, hey, Justin Bieber, you want to come over to my house and smoke some pot drink and beer? drink some beers and turn on the recording stuff? Oh, that's good. Right. Do any tits there? He said, this is, yes, there'll be some tits there. And it's wait until the, the... He rode his snowmobile oh. over and we... <laughs> And that's when you right. laugh we so hard the snot comes out of your nose, you know that's a winning line, that's right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, we get another taste of it. What's the next live one you're going to do? Canadian beer. Canadian beer, which oh. if you're from the States, you've heard all about it. But you're going to get to hear it right here, right now on BarbershopPodcast.com. Canadian beer. Yeah, we we'll drink it, and then we go, and we're from the great white north, and our beer is better than yours, cause we drink Canadian and beer. I'll drink beer any time of day, drinking beer the Canadian way, have another beer and we'll dance all night, raise a cheer for Canadian beer. I'll drink beer any time of day, drinking beer. Canadian way, have another beer and we'll dance all night, raise a cheer for Canadian beer. And we're drinking, then we go, then we're from the great white north, and our beer is better than yours, cause we drink Canadian beer. I'll drink beer any time of day, drinking beer in the Canadian way, have another beer and we'll dance all night, raise a cheer for Canadian beer. Canadian beer. I'll drink beer any time of day. Drinking beer the Canadian way. Have another beer and we'll dance all night. Raise a cheer for Canadian beer. And we're drinking. Yeah, we go. Me and the boys and our 50. Me and the boys and our beer. Yeah! <laughs> wow, nice. Mabel. Very nice. That was a chair. <laughs> there is, uh, yeah, just I think the colonies, especially in Australia. Uh, Canada. The colonies. We love our beer, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, America never <laughs> defines themselves with their beer, and yet we do. It's something that's uh, commonality, like a good Timmy's that we all agree on. 
Exactly. And you know what the great thing is, is that our beer isn't watered down like it is in the States. Apparently, the, some scientists, I mean, some, some really. geeks said it. Well, it's, you know, your alcohol is uh, rated by volume and theirs is by something. But at the end of the day, it's the same. It's like, no. I've drank at 22 of those <laughs> and then not been loaded, eh? Yeah. Because you know when you're loaded, right? I mean, you know when you're loaded. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know when you're loaded because you did not, and then you're like, oh, wait, yeah, I'm loaded. <laughs> <laughs> what's the best part about being loaded? Let's start with you, Flapjack. Tell me what's the best part oh, of being no. loaded. Best part about being loaded is when you start having the munchies. Yeah. You dip that bacon in that maple syrup. Oh. Easy. Oh. You know, Easy. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Shh. Let's, let's just walk away from that innuendo. Yeah. And let's pretend we're at a grocery store. They do it at the factory now. They give you maple flavored bacon. Do they have that in America? I need to hear from our South American or European viewers. Do they sell maple bacon anywhere but Canada? I don't know. Why don't you tell them in Spanish there, Logjam? <laughs> La neta es, la neta es, tomemos, comemos todo con uh, azúcar de maple. Cutlet, bacon. Let me just make eh, it simple. Cantocino también. Derp, de derp, derp, de derp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oye. Chop it, Tom. If you got to steer this ship. Castor, and there's, a, castor. there's a sea of icebergs in front of you. What are you going to do? Are you going to go around or are you going to go through it? Oh, the beaver goes right through anything. Every Depends time. Always drive it straight in the beaver. Look at the chompers. Now, creativity reigns, as I said with this band. Got another video. Check them out online. Give them lots of views and share them. And a lot of people make fun of what we tend to say, eh? Like, it's a recognition. You know what I mean, eh? It's, like, very important. It's almost right? oh. Japanese people have the... You know, the degree to Don't which you have. The, yeah, the, the up or the down. Like, that d means I'm marrying your daughter, I'm killing your daughter, depending on. Hear me. So, it's not a big deal, eh? You know, so Canadian A, what does it mean to you? Canadian A, you. Oh, you know, Canadian A is just, you know, there's nothing like it. People up here, nobody noticed. That's the beauty of slang we, like we that. Nobody, four, no, nobody notices, eh? You know what I'm talking about? But you step outside of here. And everybody's business. like, oh, you say it eh, all the time, but it's, you know what I mean? It just tells me I'm Canadian A. Eh? <laughs> this is a celebration of our youth, man. Like, nobody grew up like we did, you know? It's true. SCTV, Tim Hortons, hockey rinks, yeah. you know, the whole deal. Like, it's just, it's purely Canadian, and all this song is about is just our our childhood, you know? That's wonderful. And cleavage. Yes. And, and tits, always. Yeah! All day long. Barbershoppodcast.com. This is CBC oh. and Quantum Methodist. Wait. Angeles, hi. That seems to maybe tomorrow I wanna settle down. For some time. Listen. The big afternoon, South. The big. Do the thing, hey? Good day, and welcome to the Great White North. I'm Bob McKenzie. This is my brother Doug, hey? How's it going, hey? I love back bacon. My life is hockey. I hope it snows every day. All please and thank yous. Mounties and
that you saw it. Get yourself more beaver. Go online and get all the beaver you can. We're doing our best to get it out there. You got to promote it when that is your identity, right? It is a big, badass rodent. I was down at Pier 4 on the little uh, bit of a dock they have sticking out there by the trail, and one went swimming by, and it was like the size of an ottoman with a tail. And we discussed earlier, where does one get beaver tail slippers? Mm, you know, it is, so if you are a, a true Canadian and that is your <laughs> thing and you make beaver tail slippers, get a hold of me, Kevin Barber at barbershoppodcast.com. We got uh, business propositions to make for you. Speaking of business propositions, here's my segue into our sponsor. This is a cool lady with a cool business called Taxes Done Right. She does your taxes every year. If you watch this, you're probably an artistic type or, well, you definitely have issues, maybe even problems. <laughs> She can take care of your problems, right? It's like someone files for you and they know what they're doing. It's like it's like I was about to pay someone 150 bucks to tell me I owed She's you know 900 endings. and in fact it's much less than that. Tell them you uh, saw Barbershop Podcast or you're a member now that you guys are part of the club, you get a discount too. So if you've got a business Ooh. and you need your taxes done, you need your bookkeeping done, Heather over at Taxes Done Right here is the, uh, I think it's about this size. All right. No, that's way too big. There we go. There you go. There we go. I can't go front. Kind of like this. <laughs> it's not happening. Anyway, check it out. <laughs> put the put the pause thing. Get the number. <laughs> get the email. That's taxes done right. They do good stuff. They do good by us. We haven't been arrested yet. Yeah. Oh my. Oh. So let's talk about the trouble. The trouble in this country. Yes. The trouble. What do people don't realize is the impending doom in this country, other than the world ending on Saturday. Yeah. Does it matter, or is it all about looking forward to the next Friday night? Definitely. Yeah, we have one really left. We only have one left. We've got one left. We've got one left. Live your life like there's one Friday left. We live every Friday like there's one Friday left. That's right, man. That's all right. right. What's the song? What's one you're going to do now? Right. Well, this is a song. This was inspired by the Beaver's Travel. You know, the Golden Beaver plays the odd festival up north there in the greater Ontario area. And so we travel a lot through Espanola, Blind River, uh, Iron Bridge, Sault Ste. Marie, Wawa, Thunder Bay. We drink a lot of double doubles along the way. All There's right. a little ditty called Double Double. Barbershop Podcast. Donuts in a double double. She's my late night Canadian queen. She keep me warm under them covers. Cold winter's eve. Oh, it's a long haul from Thunder Bay.
sexy. You know what doesn't get any better than that. you got to experience it. Real live music. It happens. It happens in your city. It happens in your town. You might have to... Uh, you know, get a designated driver, but there's a lot of uh, people. You got a D D. Yeah, the people that don't, you know, they don't drink anymore, but they still D-D. like. To, yeah. Everyone needs a double. Everyone D Everyone needs friends. a double D friends, and those guys are out there. They're like, man, I don't drink anymore. It's like, do you still like music? Yeah. Well, here we'll throw you money Could for be my gas. Double D friends. Good times, and you yeah. take them out. Go out and support live music. It does not exist on its own. If the venues don't see a return, they don't, they're not interested in having it. Nah. And what we're doing is showing it to you right there in the comfort of your living room, the comfort of your home, and I hope you enjoy it, but it's not a substitute for the real thing. You got to get out there, right? You got to feel it. 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 And you know, sometimes it's terrible. I don't want to be the old guy, but there's a lot of good in Canadiana out there to experience, but you got to get out there you and gotta, experience. The you know real, what I mean? Everyone yeah. needs a taste of it. Don't let the music or, die. Yeah. No, you, you, like, the difference between a recorded tune and a live <laughs> tune is night and day. Really? Uh, it is true. You know, Everyone when you feel needs it. a taste of maple syrup. It's true. Oh. And you can't get it virtually. <laughs> you need to really have the real maple syrup. Paper fog machine. All right. There's a famous beach here in Ontario. <laughs> yes. There's a place the because beach. we get summer about three months a year. You know, like three months out, maybe. Of, yeah. out of 12. So that's one quarter, maybe, yeah. on a good year, right? <laughs> right. So it's kind of like you got... On a week, you got a day and a half, maybe two days. <laughs> right. Here in Ontario, in Fucking southern Ontario, Christ, we are right between God. the Great Lakes. They call them the Great Lakes because they're huge. Right between the Great Lakes. And they're tits? great. Exactly. It's soft. Great tits. Someone said today, is it called beach because it's between... No, it's called sand because it's between the sea and the land. Is that where that came from? Oh. Who knows? But we know that in summertime, oh, people nice. flock to Sobble Beach. <laughs> I would assume that the Sobble Wobble <laughs> has something to do with that iconic place. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, who didn't go to Sobble Beach for me to for a weekend when, <laughs> you're all, right. when you're all coming up and learning the ways, right? Like, all everybody did the Sobble Wobble back to their campsite, back to your tent. Back to your tent. Usually your mom's tent. Your mom's tent. Not that way. That you don't and want to smell it. You borrow it from her. Totally <laughs> Make sure it don't smell like any of these <laughs> things as you go to Sabo Beach, which is a beautiful, yeah, sandy... Man. When do the icebergs leave? Like, That's right. don't... Tell me that Canada doesn't have sun and sea. Oh, it's a yeah. lake. It's fresh water. You could drink it if you wanted to. I went sailing with a guy from Australia once, and he said to me, Justin Beaver... We were on Lake Ontario. He's like, is this really fresh water? Yeah. I was like, yes, Mr. Australia, it is. He's like, so I can swim in it and not be eaten? I was like, you can. Yeah, it's unbelievable. And, uh, it is unbelievable. I worked in a restaurant, and there was a fellow from England. That's a great Bob, story, bro. Tell and he worked in the British Army. He goes, you don't understand. Over there, lakes are little things like pots, right? Mm. You can like, throw a stone from one side to the other. This is like a fucking great big sea. Mm. And here's a story about a sandy beach on the shore of one of these five great lakes in the dead center of North America that attracts the very best and the very worst out about all of us here in Ontario. <laughs> Loving, enjoying summer, and the Sobble Wobble on barbershoppodcast.com.
Everybody get down to the beach and everything we need is in our reach. Just chilling in the lake and the sun all day. Summertime party, the Canadian ways. Put your drink up in the air and knock it back like you just don't care. And everybody come on, get lit up. Come on and fill up your cup because the summer ain't up. We do the summer, hey. we do the wobble, oh. we get the bottle, yeah. there ain't no trouble. The summertime party. Yeah. I'm on the dump now. And if you feel no way to get through it, not me. Free up, free up. I wanna play it cool and keep my head tonight. What? Everybody's up to turn on good tonight. True. They do the wobble from the beach to the campfire. They tell me it's a real good time. We do the sample. the Sabo Wobble, Sabo Beach right here in Ontario, Ontario, fantastic province and a fantastic yes. country. Doesn't matter what shitty government, what's going on. The people is the people and Canadian people are good people. Yeah, they are. You know, the great thing about Hamilton, it's like it has its own thing and we got this, the biggest city, I think in Canada, Toronto, 40 minutes one way and 40 minutes the other way is a honeymoon capital of the world, Niagara Falls. We live along an escarpment or a... Uh, uh, a former uh, glacial lake, you know, when they had the ice age and it all got shoved up to the edge. Boxo Studios right along the edge of this thing, which used to be, you know, and right now it's getting kind of carved back and what falls down from what was <coughs> and what is, is Niagara Falls. It's an amazing place. What's your connection to Niagara Falls? Well, you know, Niagara Falls is, uh, you know, it's a place that, Chompin and I went in our formative years. For cheap American booze. Yes, cheap American booze. And a lot of times we stayed on the Canadian side. We used to go yeah. to old rumors. Yeah. And me and Chompin, <laughs> we, used to, me and Chompin <laughs> we used to bang all the ladies that were there from Japan to be tour guides in the summer. Yeah. They were looking for that, right? Yes. So we were there. We, you know, they were easily swooned with maple syrup, syrup. and back bacon. Yeah, it's all it takes. Yes. Maple Two Canadians, yeah. fifth of maple syrup. And they didn't speak much bacon. English, and neither did you. All they used to say to of, us was, Tom and Tom, Justin Beaver, you want powder or oil? Oh, yeah. you see? And it, the $40 was just icing on the cake. Hey, it was the early 70s. It was only 15 <laughs> <laughs> It's all good. The King Edward Hotel, my first that place. That was cool, then. It's true. Niagara <laughs> Falls. It's oil. not sinful. Do you want powder or oil? All right. <laughs> you got a gig. Before we go into the song, what are you doing? Gig coming up. Oh, we're playing uh, up in Owen Sound at the Hartwood Concert Hall on October 7th. For Jared Coop's yeah. birthday extravaganza. Get your tickets now. Get your tickets, tickets now. Sound Trump of Owen. You want to go Ooh, and hear Owen Sound. You better get your tickets quick. Great part of Ontario, Owen Sound. Yeah. Great part Gold of Canada. Beaver, Hi, Honey Hammers. That's going to be so. Sequoia. And Sequoia. 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 We got lots of drinking boxes. Right then. All right, this is uh, the Golden Beaver, Niagara Falls on BarbershopPodcast.com. <laughs> I'm Niagara Falls in all over you. When the night come calling in a barrel made for two. Well, I'll be you in a barrel for two until the whole shoe falls. What do we do? I'm going to tell you.
Ferris wheel Everybody look when I made a squeal No, that's what I do so true that the heart of rock and roll is the golden beaver we're working for it every week on barbershop podcast i want to thank you guys so much for coming in and sharing the spirit and the joy that is music that is life and thanks so much for coming out thank you brother thank you sir all right thank you to richard ashcroft kevin barber not 10th hour and gary back in the booth Yeah. yeah What was it? Glenn Atwell. Glenn Atwell. Glenn Atwell. Glenn Atwell. That's what happens when you call in. Love you. Love you here. Love you there. Love you everywhere. For Ryan Cannon, Gary Greenland, I'm Kevin Barbie. I'm Maple Syrup. Be sure to tune in next week to see the Petit Four. Amazing group. Sorry screwed you over this week. I booked two bands. Sorry. Got a taste of this next week. A taste of that. Barbershoppodcast.com. Take care.